Now, I suspect most, if not all of y'all, understand that these folks holding cameras are not our friends. They're not here because they want to have a beer with you. They're not here because they're planning to vote Republican in November. And so there's no story they want to write more than Republicans in disarray, convention on fire, everything going bad. That's what they're going to write. If you noticed it every night, that's going to be the story. Well, it's up to us to determine whether it's true or not. I do think the American people are watching what we do and not what they say. You know, I can tell you last night, when I addressed the convention, I addressed the convention because Donald Trump asked me to. And when Donald asked me to, he didn't ask me to endorse. And indeed, three days ago, I talked on the phone with him and told him I'm not going to endorse you. Why not? Well, let me answer that. I, sir, I'm, I'm happy, sir, I'm happy to answer that, but I'm not going to engage in a screaming fight. Uh, and, and indeed, I'm, I'm going to do questions and answers right now. What I wanted to do last night was lay out the principles I believe we should stand for as Republicans. In that speech last night, I did not say a single negative word about Donald Trump. And I'll tell you this morning and going forward, I don't intend to say negative things about Donald Trump. The media would love me to. I promise you every question when I step off this stage is going to be, please say something horrible about Donald Trump. Come on, it makes good news. What I did say is what all of us should believe and why all of us, I think, got into politics in the first place. I started the speech by congratulating Donald on winning the nomination, by name. And then I encouraged folks here and at home that we deserve leaders who will stand for principle, who will do what they say. And I made a particular point to address conservatives at home. Listen, I assume there's a reason the Trump campaign wanted me to speak. They saw my speech several hours before I gave it. They knew exactly what I was going to say. I assume the reason they wanted me to speak is they believed my delivering that message would encourage people to come out and vote, and they believed it would help them. If they didn't, I was perfectly happy to get on a plane and go home. But in that speech last night, I asked conservatives at home, I asked Americans at home, do not stay home in November. And I laid out a standard. I said, we should vote for candidates that you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that's a standard I expect to be applied to me. I expect to be applied to every candidate on the ballot from president down to dog catcher. This isn't just a team sport. We don't just put on red jerseys or blue jerseys and yay. This is about principles and ideals. This is about standing for what we believe in. And you know, listen, I, I have to say it was somewhat dismaying that apparently some of Donald's biggest partisans right down front, when they heard that people should vote for someone you can trust to defend our freedom and defend our conscience, defend the Constitution, immediately they began booing. I've got to say that's a little bit troubling what they're saying.
You know, I'm reminded of an old story of a man who's in the middle of a huge lawsuit, a bet the company case, it means everything to him. His lawyer calls at the end of the trial, and he says, justice prevailed. The client immediately says, appeal immediately. <laughs> Listen, I actually thought later last night, Newt had it exactly right. We want to win this race. Newt stood up and said, you know what, the standard Ted laid out who will defend freedom? Who will be faithful to the Constitution? Newt said, Donald Trump is the only candidate that meets that standard. I'll tell you this, if we want to win this election, that's the only way we're winning this election. We're going to win this election by making the case to the American people. We're not going to win this election by yelling and screaming and attacking people.